It's a solar eclipse. The moon is gonna pass between the Earth and the Sun. <laughs> Hey guys, Tori here from Overlook Horizon. Uh, we're going to show you today how to make uh, some solar viewers, uh, indirect viewers, so that you can safely watch the solar eclipse on Monday. Myself, and I got my two helpers here. What's your name? Lisa. And what's your name? Hiya. They're going to help me make a solar viewer. So first thing we got to do is we got some materials here to get started. Luca, why don't you show us what some of these things are? Foil, paper, scissors, tape, cereal box. Pencil, nail. All right, so that's what we need here to make our indirect solar viewer. What's the first thing we got to do? You trace some paper. So what we want to do is get a piece of paper here in the bottom of the cereal box. That's going to turn out to be our screen for projecting. So it's going to be like a little mini projector screen on the inside of the cereal box. So set the cereal box down. We get our pencil and we're going to trace around it. Once we have the paper traced out, then we got to get that cut. I'll do that part. You're the lines, I you hold on to that and help me. Why you This is going to go in the bottom of our cereal box. No. <laughs> we got our piece of paper here going in the bottom of the cereal box. Can you get rid of that? Can you put that inside the box? Perfect. Just get that stuffed in here. You want it pretty much as flat as you can get it on the bottom of the box. It doesn't have to be perfect. How's that look? Good. How's that look? Yeah. Next thing we got to do is... Cut two holes on each side. So we're going to, in the top of the box where our flaps are, we're going to cut two holes. One on each side that's going to be for your eye. The other one is going to be for the sunlight. Hey, don't cut the video box. How'd we do? Good. How'd we do? Good. So it should look something like this. You just need, they don't need to be huge holes, just enough to fit your eye. So next thing we're just going to do is just tape the box closed just so it doesn't move around all over the place. Okay, next thing we got to do is... The foil. So we're going to cut out a small little rectangle here. It's not an exact science here. Just enough to cover one of the holes. And then more tape. Get rid of that foil. We don't need the foil anymore. All right, once we've got our foil on, just on one side here, like this, it's gonna cover up one side. The other side is gonna be for your eye. Then we need... A poker. A poker. In this case, we're gonna use a nail. You can use a dried piece of spaghetti. You can use a pencil, just something small. You don't wanna let in too much light, but we're gonna use a nail here. And then all you wanna do is just poke one hole right in the middle of the foil. Bingo. Bingo. And that's pretty much it. Once you've got the hole poked, then you're ready to use it. On Monday, while the eclipse is happening, what you want to do is have the sun at your back, and then you're going to put your eye right up to the hole and look into the box. The sun will shine from behind you into the hole that we poked in the aluminum foil and will shine on the piece of paper that we put on the other end. Hopefully you can get out to see this amazing event. Here in Rochester, we're just going to see a partial eclipse, but still a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. See you on the next video. <laughs> Bye, everybody.